Hello and welcome to another LEGO knockoff set. This is from Winner. Um, 5050. Uh, there's also a 5051 set of six figures. And um, as well as actual big sets. I got one of those big sets which I'm going to film after the two sort of minifigure packs and uh, to see if the uh, blocks are any good. And uh, this is based on Journey to the West. Journey to the West is. Um, a story written a long time ago in China based on Rear Fence. Uh, the Rear Fence was a monk felt that the Buddhist teaching in China went a bit convoluted and a bit um, messed up. So he decided to travel all the way to India to recopy the Buddhist teachings and bring it back to China. And which, at which point uh, China convoluted the mess <laughs> of the Buddhist teaching and turn it into about gods again. No thanks to this story, but this is a classic story um, It's just Chinese people are just The culture is a bit messy, so Everything just has to be a god and about money. Hey, let's wish gods to give us money and luck and all that and without actually giving anything back um, Not everyone is like that of course, but a lot of people are like that and it's really annoying just go into a temple pray 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 and um they still call it Buddhism in, in China and Hong Kong, but it's not Buddhism. There are no gods. They sort of mix it with Hinduism, I think. Mm. But anyway, uh, this is... Um, <laughs> saying anyway, uh, Journey to the West, but they've called it uh, the Fantasy Westward Journey. Uh, sure, whatever. Uh, we have the Monkey King here, and we have the other ones which I don't know their English names too, but they're all god creatures. Um, the monk is not in any of these sets. These are all god creatures. I guess based on the first part of the story, before the Monkey King was trapped under the Five Finger Mountain. Before he was given a chance to help the monk uh, to redeem himself. So I only know the Monkey King from this set. Oops. Uh, but I'm going to tell you that this is like a bad guy. And this is like a bad guy too. This is a good guy, but um, he's like annoyed with the Monkey King. Because the Monkey King is full of mischief. And um, there's a Sky Palace, which the Monkey King, Monkey King keeps messing about. Uh, all the back of the boxes are the same, they show you the other sets in this wave. And there's actually a QR code on one side of these. Uh, so you can go to head over to their website and see their other products. I'm going to zoom in the QR code in a sec. I'm just going to show the rest of the side of the boxes. As always, if you want to take a closer look at the box art, a photo shoot of the figures, as well as instruction sheets, please feel free to head over to the Flickr link in the video description below. Speaking of QR codes, let's zoom all the way in. So, uh, which way is up? Okay, that way is up. So, yeah, if you want to scan this and head over to a website and see other products that they release, then by all means do that. On the other side of the box is just generic warnings and informations and um, what plastic it uses, where it was made. So that's made in... They've got the company name there and their phone numbers. So. Uh, while these do use shapes of Lego pieces, the pattern of the Lego bricks are gone, so they're not really bootlegs because they're not actually copying uh, set designs of actual Lego sets. This is still relatively their own thing, just using bricks and blocks that are compatible with Lego. And yes, instruction sheets. Um, focus, there we go, we've got the Monkey King there. Um, all of these instructions are very easy. And very clear, the paper quality reminds me of actual Lego paper quality, so that's good. Do, 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 do. They also show you all the pieces you get in there at the bottom of the sheet, so you know if you're missing anything. It's good. On first glance, these uh, actually give a pretty good display. Uh, I guess more so if you know the legends or the story, the book or the design or if you're just from Asia in general. For those of you not in Asia, uh, the impact's probably less but uh, you can still see a lot of different and customized pieces that you do not get with Lego. Uh, Monkey King here has his throne with the giant sort of plant going on and there's a little bit of gold there just to, uh, you know, Pump it up, you know, China, China stuff, they love gold, so gold it up. Uh, this underwater wizard king guy here is on a little lotus flower stage, that's pretty cool. Again, lotus stage is a thing in Asia that we like. Um, I kind of snapped this plant while pulling it from the um, plastic ring. Oh well, and there's a transparent piece here just to give it 
it makes it gives it a nice effect having this transparent piece of plastic. That that's good. The turtle guy just has a generic rock thing going on with a seashell and a tiny golden turtle. Because gold again. Ooh. Uh military, military sea crab man. Uh, as a golden crab and more just watery stuff and transparent underwater stuff. So, um, this monkey has a car. Um, this was not in the legend, no. Uh, I guess this car's a new addition. And uh, these wheels are all just hard plastic, no tires on them. So, this one, this car kind of sucks. Don't know why. It would have been better if it had like another sort of base display sort of thing. And finally, this other underwater creature here. Uh, he has a transparent water arm thing with a golden. Sp like transparent green spider and a leaf on the back. I don't, really don't know what that is. It doesn't like you can't rotate anything. It's just standing there. We're really not sure what that is, but it looks cool. Um, hmm. Well, at least there's one way to get sort of like bull horns in this color if you want it. I I really don't know what that that's for. So uh, there are some spare pieces here. There was a spare wheel, uh, a spare little green thing that goes on top of his head and a spare uh, beard for him as well, a little moustache piece. And is these weapons here, um, they all come like this. So they are, when you get a whole set you get um, three axes, three of each of these swords. So that's cool, you get more um, than what you expect. So, and you see here, all these figures, they have a lot of custom pieces that you know, do they do, don't get with other uh, stuff. First of all, you have you know this this turtle head as well as this traditional Chinese hat that plugs into it, and he has a custom turtle shell, which um, I wonder if it's similar to the Ninja Turtle movie figures. I don't think it is. He's got a little sword there. Now he has the hair piece, this whole front piece there, which is a soft softer material, but not um, softer than hard plastic, but it's still pretty tough. He also has a uh, magical sort of water brush thing. It's Arm's a little tight. Let's move that up. It's got a little water brush there for magic. He's got the staff, uh, a cape, golden armor, and of course the monkey head thing. And this is a different monkey head shape thing, as you see, because the hair actually comes down and also matches those shoulder pads. And you got these water beings there. This one has a mask and a little shoulder pad. This one has a mask, armor piece. It has a there's this, this this transparent armor plate actually plugs on to the armor piece and as well as the back has, uh, has another piece that plugs on as well so I can unplug that piece there and I can also unplug the piece on the front so you can see less armor and stuff and uh, yeah these uh, underwater creatures also have um, well, he also has a custom arm right there which unfortunately can't hold anything I, I wish it could I wish they designed it like perhaps like some of the parts of the Caribbean stuff and use some of those designs or copied it so that he actually holds stuff when you see here all these figures just before taking their arm off they all look really nice with all the stuff removed um, well aside from him all of them have pretty decent print details uh, they're all pretty good now the design is also for the most part matching with uh, Lego's design philosophy and uh, yeah all of them looks pretty good uh, aside from the turtle all of them have standard heads so you can do swapsies around them, that should be pretty cool. And uh, this this guy here, his hair is actually uh, made out of very uh, soft, rubbery sort of hair plastic, so that's cool. Well, it's it's useful, I guess, It's so the, the little hair bits on the front don't you know, break off anything. And uh, that hair piece is really useful. Uh, painted black, and then you have, um, you have uh, like a, a Juge Yang's hair, you know, from, from Dynasty Warriors or Three Kingdoms. Oh, actually, you can alter that a little bit. It almost looks like a head crab. Hmm. But yes, uh, this is great. Uh, all of them look pretty good. Uh, just a quick look at the back of these. And uh, they all have pretty decent print detail. Uh, one would have guessed that he wouldn't have, but no, they decided to print his detail as well. So that's decent. And uh, all of the details are very sharp, very nice. And finally, this guy here, his crab arm, is uh, his, it's hollow, so that's a little bit disappointing. Hmm. One bit that isn't so good is that black hat that was plugged on top of the turtle. It has a good feel to it because it's got this like, matte feel to it. It almost feels like it's actual fabric-y hat material. 
but that's because it was actually just painted on. You see there, the plastic is actually green, just like the rest of the turtle, but they just slapped some matte black paint on it, which, while the hat feels nice, it does mean that plugging it into the head is a little bit tight, and when removing it from the head, it also gets a bit too tight to remove as well, so I'm almost worried that I'm gonna break it, but um, I didn't, so that, that's good. I also want to point out that that hat piece is actually the same width as the standard Lego peg, or bar piece, so, uh, if you unplug that, there's a hole on top of the turtle's head that you plug in anything you want. Like this sword right here. It doesn't look silly at all. Do, 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 do. It's a sword in your head. <laughs> and when you plug other stuff in there, like guns, lightsabers and whatnot, that, that, that could be useful. Overall, a pretty good set. The blocks build fine. The figures are overall pretty okay. They move okay. Uh, they build together okay. No joints are too loose or too tight. They're definitely compatible with a lot of Lego stuff. And, um... I mean, the point of that is I was curious that why this hat is permanently attached to the face when this, this little peg isn't. They could have made this a peg too and have swapsies. That could be another custom thing. Who knows? But um, it's not. I also like that uh, all of these shoulder pads and all of the figures have a little tab underneath them so they don't rotate with the head when you're trying to move it around. They stay centered. Uh, so that's, that's really good. So I've seen bootlegs and other pieces like that that will rotate with the head or when you're moving the arms they, they move out of the way. Um, and it does stay centered and look weird and can get quite frustrating when posing around. So I'm glad that these have that. That's good. And uh, all the background pieces, the design of them, well, um, you know, got some generic ones in the middle and a car, race car for some reason. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, they, they, they're very colorful. I like the colors that they've used. I like the pieces that they've done. And little, little set pieces that they, they, they've done. So uh, even if you don't get the big box sets, um, which do include all most of these figures, um, if you don't get those big boxes, you can still have pretty nice little mini dioramas if you don't have enough space for the whole Monkey King thing. Like I said, I did pick up one of those um, big sets that I'm going to build eventually and review for you guys. Until then, these minifigure packs are very decent. So, I guess you can call them a winner. <sighs> As always, you can check out my other videos on many other kinds of toys on this channel. Uh, mostly Lego, mostly bootleg Lego, and figure arts, SH figure arts that contain a lot of different characters. Um, I most quit because I mostly collect 112 scale figures and model kits, and also henshin belts as well. Hopefully, you can check those videos out with ad block turned off. I would appreciate that so much because without the ads, I would not be able to do uh, pretty much a video day almost. Uh, for this channel and uh, you can support me on Patreon if you think this channel deserves it. Also do animation on my other channel which I really really want to do more but I'm always out of time because I have a full time job and of course I'm always, um, when I'm not doing my full time job I'm spending time uh, reviewing these toys on this channel. So if you decide to, to support me on Patreon I appreciate that so much too but of course you don't have to do any of that. Uh, as always take care, have a nice day, I'll see you guys soon, bye bye now.